In this video, we're continuing with uh, Chapter 8, Section 8.1. We're looking at the area of uh, kites in this example. We're going to do Example 1, Part D. And it says one diagonal of a kite is twice as long as the other diagonal. If the area of the kite is 400 square meters, what are the lengths of the diagonals? So let's go ahead and start with our formula. We've got the area of a kite is equal to d1 times d2 divided by 2. All right, and since we don't know the diagonals, let's let d1 be x. And since one diagonal of the kite is twice as long as the other, if d1 is x, that would mean that d2 is 2x. It's twice as long. So let's go ahead and substitute in what we know. We know the area of the kite is 400 square meters, so that's going to be 400. And we're going to let d1 be x, so that's x times, and d2 is 2x, divided by 2. So we've got these 2's over here, which are going to cancel each other out because this is all multiplication, and then x times x is x squared, so 400 is equal to x squared, and then I'll take the square root of both sides, and we end up with x is equal to 20. So what that means is that diagonal 1 is going to be 20 meters, and diagonal 2 is going to be twice as long, so it's going to be 40 meters. All right, there you have it. If you have questions, make sure you get those answered, um, and we will see you in the next video.